hello everyone today we are going to implement login and registration functionality in sp.net core mvc application using identity so let's start now create a new project create a new project and select asp.net core web application now click on next and rename it to auth app and click on create select web application model view controller and click on create now it is creating our project so it will take a while and i think it is created now okay now right click here and click on add and select new scap folded item okay now select identity and click on add button now it is downloading some packages so it is going to take a while now you can see a pop-up window where first of all we are going to add a layout page so we are going to use default layout page which is layout.cshtml now select those files you want to override if you want to override all the files you can click here but for now we are going to update only two files which is login and register so select these two files account slash login and account slash register now click on plus button or here you can add a new data context class and rename it to auth db context okay click on add here here is our user class and rename it to application user and click on add button okay we will explain later in this tutorial what is this application user class is going to do so for now click on add button and it is again downloading some packages from the internet so it will take few moments here you can see a folder areas and inside areas you can see your pages like login and register so here is all the functionality related login and register now now as you can see these pages are razor pages so we have to do some settings here inside the startup.cs class so first of all we are going to write here services dot add razor pages okay now right here app dot use authentication and now write endpoints dot map razor pages so here we done now let's check now let's check it how it is working okay now type here identity slash account slash login and it is our login page and write register it is our register page now you are going to add a new property here and 
for this we have to close the browser and click on areas and data and application user so here we can add some extra properties which are going to define the details of user so right here public string name okay and now we are going to save it in database for this we have to change a connection string so just write here and dot if you have different database name you can use it here according to your sql server database name sorry sql server instance name okay we are done now and click on tools here you can find nuget package manager and inside nuget package manager you will find package manager console and type here add migration initial create okay now our migration file has created now write another command update database it is going to update our database as name suggested okay so it's done now and you can check it in your sql server database so we are going to check it here uh, connect and here is our database and it is our user table let's check it is schema and as you can see we had created a property name it is here okay now close it and go back to the visual studio and now we are going to add it in our html page sorry cs html page so click here register.cshtml and copy it let's copy this section and paste it here and rename it to name and name and name okay now click here register.cshtml.cs and add a property name here so I'm going to add a property here which has name name okay and it is also a required field so add a validation here 
now in this method we will write name equals to input dot name okay now just run the project and check it in our browser so right here identity account slash register and now here you can see a new property which is name but here we want to add menu so now we are going to add a menu here with name login and register for this we are going to our main layout page which is here and add this partial page which is login dot partial sorry login partial dot cshtml now we are going to add this partial page here hmm okay so right here partial name equals to views shared slash login partial dot cs html and remove this here and write Mr. Auto and remove it so let's check it how it is looking okay now you can see two tabs here login and register click on register you can see uh, register page and here you can see a login page now close it for now and click here on identity hosting and set it to the false we are going to set required confirm account to the false so we do not have any email confirmation okay after that we don't need an email confirmation now let's register and create an account okay click on register and name michael and email is michael at gmail.com and password is m i c h a e l at the rate one two three let's see michael at the rate one two three m i c h e a l at one two three oh it is not matching m i c h a e l at the rate one two three hmm so here we have logged in already but we are going to log out now and click on login here m i c h a e l 
at the gmail.com and password is m-i-c-h-a-e-l at the red one two three and click on login so here we can see we are logged in now and if you click here you can see your detail or profile here username michael at the gmail.com it is your email id here you can reset your password and here you can update your phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine zero save it and now your profile has updated so it is our login and registration functionality in identity framework if you have learned something please do not forget to hit the like button and for daily videos like this please subscribe the channel